I've made so many things I don't remember the title of this, but <laughs> it's, okay, it's a landscape um, theme, and you can see it's um, a sun, and there's sort of water down here and sort of clouds up above and other little images, but in a house here, so it, and it has, but the sun is, usually the moon has a face, we know, but I put two faces on this sun because if you've got two people close to each other smiling, it's sunny. And so it's sort of playing with that, with that, uh, that theme a little bit. And, um, so I see there's a lot of, you often get in your pieces, found elements. Are these things that you just find laying around the house or and uh, how do they get into your pieces? Yeah, found things and make things and or parts of other things. Um, or if you made another piece and you did a scrap off of it, sometimes it works in. And but um, it's sort of it's like the two arms and the two people, and they're all going, you know, hooray! You know, it's a sunny kind of that kind of make it versus you know having guns shooting at each other. You know, it's more of a fun, just that kind of thing. And it's, you can see it's sort of smiling, and it's like. One eye, but it almost looks like two, you know, or two eyes and one person, or one, you know, it's that kind of thing. So, and tell me a little bit about your frames. This one in particular is a little idiosyncratic, it's not just a frame, it kind of yeah, they have, out into the world. This one has sort of a little smile on it, and this one is sort of landscapey to fit this cloud kind of form. Um, instead of being traditionally a rectangular or a square or something that's like playing with different things. It's, um, you know, if you get dressed and you have a typical outfit, and a lot of times you put glasses on your head, or, you know, you have something sticking out, or you're carrying a bag, you know. People think that's normal, but if you do it on a painting, it's like, what did you do, you know? It's, it's sort of fiddling around with your own... Um, uh, sort of existence and just instead of conforming to what it's supposed to look like that you just this is a funny idea or something just put it on there so it, you don't forget it or that kind of thing so do things come to you as you're working on it or are you sort of working and then you no. see that little piece uh, of wood and you're like that could be a wing and uh, add uh, it and, and in hindsight I think it's a little of everything you prescribe you put something together and then you start adapting as a, you know you go to dinner and it's like you know the chicken looks terrible and I think I'll have shrimp you know it's sort of adapting it as you go along and trying to make sense out of it and then you might go home and two days later you'll think oh I should have made that darker or lighter or it's it's a not necessarily a unique thing is I think everybody does it in whatever occupations you have thoughts to go here, there, and, and you try them out and some of you have experience with and some are all new and sort of uh, allowing whatever to happen to make, you're going to want it to make sense in the end. Or uh, I always use the expression, want it to come to life. You know, you want our relationship to come to life instead of just being words. And so it's sort of shooting for that. And a lot of times you're successful, and sometimes it takes a year to get it to make sense, you know, or who knows. But realize it's, it's not a perfect pattern every time. You just, you're using the, you know, your best motifs at the moment or best ideas. And, you know, we, sometimes it's good to let it sit for, like if I write now, I have to write it, and then I know I have to write it three more times to correct the spelling and put the punctuation in it, make sense out of what I was trying to say. And it's probably true for everybody, I guess, I don't know, but anyway.